This memory mistake annoys me the most, and that is people always want to use the memory palace method. Roman palace, journey method, loci method, whatever you want to call it, people always want to use it. And it's super frustrating because it's not the end all be all of all memory techniques. Don't get me wrong, the memory palace method is a fantastic memory technique. Right now, I'm going to use it after I create a palace, of course, to remember a whole bunch of nutritional facts about foods. So it does have its purpose, but it shouldn't always be the go-to method because right here on the screen, you see um, 12, well, I guess 11 palaces. This one's a picture because, of course, I forgot to record it in the memory palace footage. So I have 11 different palaces. Well, if I have 11 types of information, hey, I have a palace for each type. What happens if a 12th one comes along? I have to create a memory palace. And if I'm not in the spot to create it and I have the information that I want to remember right then and there, I can't use a memory palace. And so people use not having a palace as an excuse not to use memory techniques. They're like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna create a palace um, this weekend. So next week I can learn that one thing I plan on learning. It's, that's not how it works, you know? It's just an excuse people could always use because it's a valid, if you don't have a memory palace, you can't use the memory palace method. You know, it's, that's it, right? And so it's an excuse, even though it's valid, it's still an excuse. That's why using the memory palace all the time is not the right mindset to have when using memory techniques. Memory palace is absolutely horrible when it comes to memorizing vocabulary. Yes, you can use the palace in specific ways to kind of categorize or organize the vocabulary, but, but, a memory palace is not going to help you when you see a vocabulary word in a book randomly because you can never plan when you go see vocabulary words, right? They just randomly happen. And so a memory palace is not always the best method to be using. And super frustrating when people only focus on that method, that they want to get better with the memory palace mem or memory palace this, that, whatever bullcrap that they're trying to say. Use all memory techniques, okay? Get proficient and excellent at every single memory technique out there. Just in case you can't use one, you have the other to fall back on. And so that's the biggest memory mistake, thinking that the memory palace method is the go-to method. So I know I got a little bit ooh, more upset with this one because it's super frustrating. But hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.